Hey there, it's Duke Chuan, founder of Developers Academy, where we'll teach you how to design, prototype, and develop the world's most beautiful and powerful iOS apps. And you are watching Code Hangout episode number 25, where I'm coding live with you here today almost every day on Code Hangout on air. And in this Code Hangout episode, I would love to show you how you can create this app. And this app is the motivational quote app, just like the first app that we developed at Total iOS Blueprint and Developers Academy. But this one is special because when you click into the blue button and you can show, you can share that photo or quote with your friend via email. So I will show you how to send email to your phone, phone from your app. How cool is that? Okay. The first step I want you to do is download the starter project right down below. If you are watching this outside of the Lopers Academy website, then go with the link right down below, download the starter project. It will ask you for your name and email because as always in every episode of Code Hangouts, I have a freebie for you. That is our new iOS app, our new iOS course. I want to give it to you for free when you check out Code Hangouts. Okay, let's do this. The first step in order for you to compose an email with attachment in iOS is to import a framework and that is the message UI framework and we will need to create an enum a typed enum typed called MyMe typed. Okay, MyMe stands for something I will tell you later on but so first let's create the message UI first. Okay, um, so here let's import message UI so here's our starter project and we just need to import the uh, message UI right into the view controller and you will see there's a private enum called my me typed it is a string and I already create those for you because the code here is pretty tedious okay the code here is pretty tedious you see that my me typed it stands for multi-purpose internet mail extension it simply tells your email that which kind of attachment is it that you just send over the email you can send a jpeg png doc file powerpoint html pdf and i think that there's a lot a lot more okay you can check out the documentation of the message ui for that okay now in this one we will just send some photos to our friend but you can send anything in this my me typed cool and it has a followable uh, initializer called and we'll pass in the typed of this and the typed if it is the case of some of like jpeg png or documentation then we'll have the my me type accordingly cool so we'll save it sometimes save us some time here we don't have to type it once again now the next thing i want to do is goes to this um, segment of code okay this ib action simply it tells us when the user click the button and he or she will we will send the photo which is with have the image name over here and this is an alert okay now i want to declare a uh, a function a method called um, show mail composer with and i want to have it with the attachment url which is a string okay and i forgot that this is a function now this is a helper method allows us to uh, show the mail composer okay so let's do this first we will check if this device is capable of sending emails or not Okay. Many devices doesn't have the capability to send email because things like the simulator cannot send email or uh, maybe a device doesn't set up with email yet so we cannot send email via that device. So we want to check it first. If the MF mail compose view controller dot can send mail. So if we can send mail with this device then um, how about we will set some of the things like we'll set the let subject equals great quote from developers academy okay what about i have my name here so you 
prediction at developers academy and we have let how about we have the message body okay now what is the message body we can do something very simple text but later on i want to give you a challenge so i will you will read this code and you will see um, how you can do this okay how about the message body which is the body of the email itself we can do some simple thing like hey look at the a here this is very motivational <laughs> okay and then we can do let to recipients recipients which is an array of who we want to send this message to and here i will just hard code this so i put in my email here Okay, if you would like to contact me, we, you can contact me via that email. And this is an array of string, just that simple. Now next, I want to initialize a mail composer, and that is our second step. We will show and configure an email composer, and it is a view controller. And with this view controller, we will uh, modally present that uh, email composer. And that is of type MF mail compose view controller. So let's have let mail composer equals MF mail compose view controller. And we'll use the standard initializer here. And then I was I will configure some of the properties for this view controller for this mail composer. Things like the delegate of this composer, mail composer dot mail compose delegate how about we do that itself this delegate we as the delegate this class as a delegate will receive some information about sending the email okay things like if the email is saved if the email is sent if the email is cancelled or we have some error okay we will we will um we will set this one we will, we will implement the delegate of the mail composer in a minute next we will set the subject and the body and the the recipients for this message also mail composer dot set subject to be our subject right and we have the mail composer dot set message body and the body here is the message body so let's have that and is HTML or not we are not using HTML so we do this as false now I think this feature is really really powerful is that um, I believe that you can pass in a chunk of HTML and it will parse the HTML for you I'm not sure but you can test it you can test it as just put in a very simple tag of HTML over there okay now next we want to do the set the recipients for this mail so we can do something like mail composer dot set to recipients now the reason why i have these constants to have these names is that it, it is exactly like the name of these properties we have set up subject so we have the subject we have set message body then we have message body okay so we have the standard name style with apple so the recipient here is two recipients so that should be good next we will need from the attachment URL, we will need to find the file name, okay? In this case, it is an image, and then we will have the extension of that image also. Okay, let's find out about that. Let file parts to be something like attachment URL dot components separated by string, and the string we want to do is the period. Because if you have an image of here, we have a tons of images. Image one dot png. So we have the name of that. Okay, the name of that attachment URL here. We have that with the dot. Then we can find out file part is an array of image one and png. So the first element will be the name of the the name of the image, and then the part two, this the second index is going to be the uh, extension of the file okay so if you are using html it's going to be html so let's have that next um, let's file name to be file part sub zero and we also have the file extension to be file part sub one 
right? We know about that for sure. Next, we want to have find the exact file in that. So I will do it like this. I will use the NS bundle, okay? If let file path equals NS bundle dot main bundle dot path for resource. And the resource here is file name of the type is file extension. Cool. So next, um, now we have that file path to our to our file. Next, we want to check if the mail if let file data to be NS data. And here from the NS data, we can find using this path, this file path, using the method called content of file and the file here is a string called file path, right? And also we have the my me typed to be something like my me typed and we have the type of the file extension, okay? So now we have all of the components we need for the, the attachment of the message. We have the file data, okay? In this case, it is an image, but we can just pass in that data into the composer and it will know how to do the job well, <laughs> okay? Let's do that. Mail composer dot add attachment data. And as you may guess, this is an NS data, which is exactly this file data. The my me typed here is um, my me typed, let's have that. And the file name, uh, let's let's see, file name. Right, we have the file name is exactly the file name. There's one thing we will see is this one. It will yell to us because when we say that it cannot convert the value of viewcontroller dot my me typed to a string. What happens is this is an enum. Okay, we want if. Because it is an enum, then it will be a type of type my me typed. Okay, it is also a typed. But the cool thing about an enum in Swift is it has a raw value. And the raw value in this case is a string. So we can do we can have this as raw. Okay, raw value. So this raw value is a string. That should work. Next. Everything is set. Everything is set for our mail composer. Now we can just do present, present view controller, and we'll pass in the mail composer and it made it to be true and completion is nil. Next, our next job is to report the results from the email composer, right? But now, before we do that, I actually forgot the mail. I actually forgot one step is that we just show and configure the email composer view controller, but we never actually do the same stuff, right? We never actually um, call that method, the method called the show mail composer with the attachment URL, right? And that thing is exactly what we want to do in the send button click. That send button, okay, this send, oops, the same button, the same button in the screen. So we can do it like this. Um, just call this show mail composer with the image name. Okay, it's just that simple. Or you can, so if you maybe if you don't want to have this here, the image name, or or here you have attachment URL, you can do something like image name, okay, change this image name into a string, and over here, image name dot components of separated. Um, by string, okay, or we can do attachment name, okay, and then here is attachment name, because I think that if it is attachment URL, it is not very self-explanatory, right, because it is not a URL. So yes, our next job is to to report all the results we have from those images. But now let's let's run this one to see how it looks like. And actually, let me run it on my phone to see how it works. Because I know that on the on a simulator it will not work because the simulator maybe it has some bug or something. We cannot work it. We cannot send a message on a simulator. 
all right because we have the male composer delegate let's do that first okay i will go way down below here oh well let's do it right beneath here usually when i do a delegate i have an extension outside of the class and implement those delegate methods but in this case let's just implement it here because we just have one method okay let's do that here that thing is a mf mail compose view controller delegate so i will have to conform this to mf mail compose view controller delegate and let's see what this delegate has Okay, so this delegates the MF mail compose view controller delegates. You see, it has a tons of documentation here, which is it has just one simple function method called mail compose controller, and let's finish with the result and we have the result. So let's find out about that. Beneath here, let's have that func mail compose controller that finish with results. And this one it is pretty tedious but let me show you about that okay let me show you the tediousness i'm not sure if that's a word now we want to switch on the results dot raw value okay from this results down the raw value if it is uh, we have some other other properties from this and we can check if the message is sent if the message is cancelled or the message is failed or something is saved okay we can check about that so let's have that if it is the case of mf mail compose um result dot cancelled result cancelled dot raw value then we can do something like alert okay dot raw value and then we can do the alert of oops and the message is mail cancelled. Cool. Next, mf mail compose result um, sent dot raw value. If it is sent, then we can do something like this. Let's copy paste here. Yes, mail sent. Okay, you get the idea right and then we have mf mail compose result um, saved dot raw value then we have alert yes message is mail saved other case we have is felt so mf mail compose result felt dot raw value and that is alert oops message is mail felt all right other way otherwise we just break out this loop and we are good to go now when we done with this when we done with this when when we click into the same button this same button right here then we have to dismiss this result uh, this composed view controller because the composed view controller the mail composed view controller it is presented modally so we want to dismiss that after everything is good. So we want to dismiss view control animated to be true and completion is nil. Cool. And believe it or not, that's all. So let's run the project to see how it looks like, will we? So this is how our app look like. Okay, normally we can just change the image like this, all right? And now we can click into this share button and send a new photo like that how cool is that and we can send it let's send that and we'll send it to myself it will ask us how what is the size we want to send this how about we change it to medium okay medium is fine and then we have those things all right i hope that you enjoyed this episode of code hangouts remember that go back to your email right now because i just sent you another email that the way you receive your starter project I just sent you another email about our new RS course for you, just as a gift for you when you enroll in Code Hangouts. So thank you so much for tuning in with us in this Code Hangout. I see you in the next Code Hangout, or maybe someday Edible Boys Academy in one of our programs.